Guys, I've got to admit something here. I've always been a big fan of the Volkswagen Golf GDI. But in the last five years, the GDI has become boring, predictable, vanilla, almost like a fridge. It's just not exciting at all. Well, that was until today. Today, in my opinion, the GDI is relevant once again. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. The Volkswagen Golf. It was the best-selling car in Europe for, I think, about five or six or seven years in a row. A long time. The last couple of years, it's just gone. Dirt, 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 dirt. Sales have come down. This year, it's not even in the top five anymore. It's not even relevant. Maybe, though, a new electric Volkswagen Golf and this new Golf GDI will make the Golf relevant again. And I've got to say, this is the first time in many years when I've been excited to actually see the details behind the Volkswagen Golf. Now, in my opinion, that's what happens when you electrify something. It makes it much more interesting. People say the opposite. They say, if it doesn't have a fat exhaust on it and make fart noises, then it's not exciting. But to be honest, what two-liter turbocharged engine sounds good to you? They don't. They sound like vacuum cleaners that make fart noises. That's the truth. Now, yeah, sure, there's V8 internal combustion engines. They sound good. I've got to, I've got to admit they do. But two-liter turbocharged engines, they don't. They just sound like, yeah, glorified vacuum cleaners. A lot of Porsches, to be honest, sound a lot like that. So I'm not really sure where the uh, the passion about noise is coming from. But anyway, the new Volkswagen Golf GDI, there's going to be a lot of people angry about this. There's going to be a lot of people going, I'm never going to buy an it. I'm never going to buy an electric Golf GDI. But I almost guarantee you that they will eventually. Based on the Volkswagen ID2 All, it has retro gauges, black trim, an AR windshield, which is really cool. It displays racetrack layouts, kind of like a video game. And it actually looks good. I mean, the GDI has looked boring boring plain and just like a car you see it drive past and you, you don't even think about it this though this changes in my opinion changes everything so after 48 years of internal combustion gdi history the future of the gdi is electric and a lot of people are having heart attacks and having to see therapists because they can't handle this this monumental change now of course i'm joking but i think it does have some truth this red car here looks familiar because it's actually the volkswagen id2 concept but actually the reality is it's just the new version of the golf gdi for now we don't know a lot about the details but we do know that it's a single motor high performance powertrain that has an electronic differential lock for the front wheels it has a wide customization through the gdi experience control and it can adjust everything from suspension to steering feel sound and even create simulated shift points to mimic GDIs from decades past. In other words, it has a kind of like a pretend transmission. I don't think that's gonna really do a lot for enthusiasts. I think it's a bit of a waste, a bit of a gimmick. That's just me. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think of these sort of fuzzy pretend transmissions in electric cars. Now, the interior is a big step up and that's one, where, one area where I think EVs and new cars are really showing some drastic improvements. This Volkswagen GDI concept has classic gauge displays but they're actually digital they look classic and you can customize them in addition to that an augmented heads-up display will project a layout of a track on the windshield now i don't know about you but i've driven the nurburgring racetrack on gran turismo many many times i can't remember the corners i always wanted to be able to remember them and i thought if i can remember all the corners that would be amazing i'd be so good on this track and it was a big challenge for me uh, that's the only video game i've ever played by the way ever played more than a day anyway maybe not the only game i've ever played but ever more than a day and i could never do that but with this new augmented reality feature it's like having the racetrack up on the screen in front of you and i think that's that's kind of a cool new technological feature that cars will have you won't need to memorize every corner because the map will be basically displayed on the windscreen in front of you in addition to that it'll come with a 12.9 inch center screen a 10.9 inch driver screen and apparently physical controls so kind of old school in that way. Now Volkswagen is saying that is also very practical as well. It has 17.3 cubic feet of space for the boot. So this would be the biggest boot ever in a Golf, the biggest in a GDI, the biggest by quite some margin. And I think that's one of the big benefits of EVs. They're actually quite practical. You can get more space on the inside of the car if you package them properly, if you build them as a ground up EV. Now don't please, for the, the love of all that's good, don't be suckered into buying one of those pretend EVs. What 
I mean by a pretend EV? Well, if your car has a transmission tunnel and no transmission, uh, it's kind of a pretend EV. Now, the new Golf GDI most certainly won't be one of those. It's gonna be on built on a ground up EV. So it'll be a proper electric car. It's gonna have plenty of power. And I think it's gonna really bring back some excitement to the Golf GDI. Excitement, which to be fair, even enthusiasts would say has been missing for the last half a decade. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.